So in this case, if they both cooperate, they each get the best they can get if they both cooperate. If one cooperates and the other defects, they each get half of uh, what would be possible. And there's symmetry there. If they both defect, they get nothing. If you were to play this game, you had to make a choice. You didn't know what the other decision maker was going to do. But your payoff, the consequences, depend on what the other decision maker is going to do. What would you choose to do? Cooperate, right? Makes sense to cooperate. There's actually no disincentive in cooperating. Because think about it this way. Say I was thinking of cooperating, and I knew that decision maker 2 was going to defect. So say I knew decision maker 2 was going to defect. What would I do? What would be the smartest thing for me to do? Cooperate, right? Even if I know he's going to defect, it's better for me to cooperate. So there's a motivation for decision maker 1, if he was thinking about this cell as happening, to go here. And likewise, if decision maker 2 knows that decision maker 1 is going to defect, he would switch from defecting to cooperating, because it, that's more advantageous than getting the 0, 0. Now, if I was decision maker 1, and I thought decision maker 2 was going to cooperate, I would also cooperate, right? Because I would rather you know, this solution than this solution. And likewise, the, the reverse happens. The motivation is, the, is to cooperate. It doesn't matter what you think the other person's going to do. Your best bet is to cooperate. A Pareto optimal solution. And what that means is that there is no other solution in which one decision maker can improve their outcome without the outcome of the other decision maker uh, declining. So the Pareto optimal means there is, there is no solution on this board that's better for decision maker 1 that isn't worse for decision maker 2. In fact, there's actually no solution on this board that's better for decision maker 1 at all. So it's both Pareto optimum and a Nash equilibrium. That, that makes this a very powerful game. Everybody's motivated to, to cooperate. All right, so this is great. I mean, it would be wonderful if all our decisions looked like this. This choice dominates all other choices. If we were to put this in a multi-criteria decision analysis, it wouldn't matter the weights on the objectives. Whatever weight you had would lead to this alternative.